you came to me and everybody was stunned that I would do it. It, it, uh, it was a story uh, based on reality, uh, a story of a uh, police officer uh, who is raped by a motorcycle gang. And people said, God, how can you do that? I mean, I said, well, you know, uh, I'm an actor. Uh, uh, the, the material was wonderful. Was it based on something real? It was based on a number of real incidents. Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't one specific incident, but this had happened a, a number of times. And uh, uh, I, did the, I did the role. Uh, we shot it up in, in uh, Seattle. I think we shot it in 17 days. And uh, it had no publicity whatsoever. It went on the air long before we thought it would go on the air. And I won the Emmy for it. And uh, I was stunned. I was stunned that I was nominated because I figured nobody saw it, you know. And, but I was very proud of it because uh, I, it was, uh, Pat Hingle was in it. George Zunza yep. played my cop buddy. And Meredith Baxter Burney. Meredith Baxter Burney. Yeah. We, had a, we, had a, we had a terrific cast. And it was a hell of a motion picture. It was a great motion picture. And I thought, well, this will sneak by, you know, that nobody will pay any attention to this. Because I kind of foolishly, I, I think, you know, in the Academy, we have a strange thing with this thing where you nominate yourself. I think I've nominated myself maybe twice in all the years I've been in the business. Where you send in, when I say nominate, when you, when you send in the, the uh, uh, a reminder of those things that you've done during a given year, and maybe you might be nominated as a result of something, somebody being reminded of that. Well, this is one of those instances where I thought, nobody's even going to see this picture. And I think it's one of the first times I ever sent in, uh, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the application or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is. Because I, I, I haven't ever done it since. And, that, and, and uh, maybe, I, maybe I should have done that in the past. Who knows? Maybe I'd have won another Emmy one of these days. But uh, that was a very proud moment. Karen Austin uh, directed it. Uh, uh, she was she was terrific. Uh, she was wonderful, and very helpful in in the fact that uh, uh, I was playing a very feminine reaction. I mean, how does a man react to being raped, violated, by a lady, and being directed by a lady, and uh, uh, that was very helpful. And and, uh, and and she was very well. A friend of mine, one, one of the one of those one of those moments, one of those very. Embarrassing moments on a set was actually the, the moment when I when I am raped because it was depicted on screen, and the two guys were it was like the scene in Deliverance, uh, and so the two actors who were who were playing the the gang the the biker gang guys were very nervous about it. The crew was very nervous about it, and a good friend of mine, Newt Arnold, who was a, a producer director. Assistant director, guy with the eye patch. With the eye patch, yeah. Knew that I had worked together several times, and on the day I was to shoot this scene, I got a package on the set. And so, when we were to shoot the scene, I said, "Well, we should have a walkthrough just so we know we don't want to rehearse this too much. Let's just do a walkthrough so we know the marks and all that." I said, "Okay, fine." So I got in. At one point, I pulled my pants down. He had sent me a pair of jockey shorts that said, "Please be kind." <laughs> and it broke the tension on the set, of course. Everybody had a good laugh, and from then on, we could get into the role and do the scene, and it turned out to be quite, quite uh, graphically horrible. And it, it was, uh, thanks to him, it was, it was uh, our uh, discomfort was eased. <laughs>